Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over the FinSuite CMS library for Webflow. We're in the live example going over the Nest component. In this example, we are going over Nest, Combine, and Filter all together as a combo. First, we are going to talk about nesting these collection items inside their lists. Then we're going to combine these two lists to one list. And then we're going to filter these items by their nested collection items. If you did not see example one, video one of this nested walkthrough, please go back and check that out. I'm not going to be going as depth in detail about how Nest works. All right, let's first look at what we have. It's the same as the first one. We have our two collection lists. This time we're only showing 10 each. And we have our third collection list which has our nest category links. These are the links that we're going to go and paste into here. We are also combining the list and we are going to set up this filter static. Before we get into that, let's see this working live. We have our filters. We have our multi-reference items inside each item, perfect. And we're keeping these down here so you can confirm that it's working. They are connected. They are combined. Look at that. We do not have the line between 10 and 11. You can see here we have this line breaking up the two lists. They are officially combined. And the last test is the filter. So if we filter by interesting, we're only going to see interesting, life-changing, cool, funny, redonx. Happy, awesome. It's working. We are filtering by these nested items. All right, let's get back into, into Designer. Let's see how this is set up. Everything from this is the same as the example one. So again, if you have not seen example one, you gotta check that out. Right now, we're only going to go over the filtering because that's the only change to structure that we have here. Here inside of these filter buttons, they are static. They are not part of a CMS list. They are just buttons with our filter by data attributes. Filter by cool, filter by funny, filter by interesting, filter by redonkulous, filter by happy, fun, and awesome. These are placed one by one. If you have a multi-reference collection that just has a few items, you can do this no problem. If you do need a dynamic list, Check out example three. We are going to go over making this list dynamic from a collection list. So we have our filter by data attributes and we also have this important class of filters wrapper. We're gonna be using this inside the custom code. Let's jump into custom code and see how this works. We're in the custom code and we are going to insert tags nest, just like example one, no change. We have our text list, our plain text comma separated list. We have our nest source, which is the CMS list that's holding all of our multi-reference items. And then our nest target, which is where we paste the official items into. Then the customization for this example too is here in combine and in filter. With combine, all we're doing is running the combine component on our insert tags variable. So we're using the same collection lists. Both collection lists that we want to combine have this class. It has the variable, so we're using the variable and we are combining them. For filter, we are going to establish our filter groups and then run the filter on our instance. If you don't know about filtering in the CMS library, please check out the first few filter walkthroughs. I'm gonna go through this fairly quickly and you're probably not gonna understand it unless you have experience with this. We're gonna create a variable of my filters. My filters is going to hold our filter wrapper, which we've given a class of filters wrapper. And the filter type is exclusive, which means you can only filter by one option at a time. After we have this variable ready to go, we've defined our filter groups and we can run the filter component. We have our insert tags variable. We're running filter on it. We're defining our filter array as my filters, which we established up here. 
Our active class is FLTR active. This is the class that's added to the button that the filter is active on. And then we have our animation. And that's it. We're just using three components together. The idea of this example is to show you that we can use nest, combine, and filter all together very easily with the same instance. That's it. If you have questions on how this works, please ask us. Go to sweetjs.io. We would love to help you customize or fix or do anything that you need with this implementation. That's effing sweet.